everyone and a very happy new year to you all. This is Dawn here and I thought we'd start a new year with a new project and let's hope that next year or this year is better than the last one. Hopefully it will be eventually but let's make it a little bit better today I hope by doing a new project and we're going to use an embossing folder today but me, me being me I like to do things differently we're not going to use a machine with this folder today we're going to use it as it is with no cutting, no emboss, well we are going to emboss but we're not going to use a machine to do it with. You've probably noticed I'm using one of these cut and emboss folders and you can do that with the ordinary embossing folders but what we're going to do, we're going to create this lovely pattern including the pattern of the butterfly here, all with a pencil. So what we're going to do, we're going to open it up and depending on which side you use will create a slightly different effect. On this particular folder, I know all folders are different, but on this folder, this is the embossed side, the bits that are raised, and that bit there is the debossed side. And what we're going to do, we're going to use a piece of paper. I've already cut it down to size just to save a bit of time. And I'm not going to use the butterfly. We're going to avoid the butterfly just for the moment. And I'm going to put it over half because I want to show you the difference once they're done. And we're going to do a rubbing, a type of rubbing. If you've ever done rubbings of coins or trees when you were at school, we're going to do something very similar and you need to just an this is just an ordinary coloured pencil and we're going to go over it like that and as you can see you can see that lovely pattern coming through so you can see the rose there we'll try and hold it down and I'm going to go roughly halfway down so if we go to about there and you will see I might not go all the way down I might just do enough to show you because I want to show you how we turn this into a card afterwards. So you don't have to be too specific, but just make sure you get all of the pattern. You can hear that lovely crunching as it goes over and leaves this pattern, which is absolutely fabulous. So oh, perhaps we will just quickly go over it. You may need to change your position as you hold it. So just move your hand a bit. If it moves and it goes out of sync slightly, don't worry. It's not the end of the world all we're doing is creating a pattern and because I'm working on a shiny surface it's going to move anyway. So I'm going to use the same pencil, the same red, I'm going to spin it round and I'm going to spin that round and this time we're going to work on the debossed side so that you can see what they look like next to each other. So we're going to carry on like that and in fact I'll tell you what we'll do this time we will, I'll put it over the butterfly just this one so that you can see what it looks like. So you can see the pattern of the butterfly coming out like that. So we will cover this one. And then we'll move on and show, I'll show you what else we can do with the same folder, but again, not using the machine that goes with it because I've had a few messages to say that people who are new to card making, they've got all these fabulous magazines and they've got embossing folders with them, but because they're so new, they haven't got the machine. And I've had a few comments saying, can we use an embossing folder without the machine? Well, yes you can. You can do it like this. And I'm sure you can think of a few other ways of doing it as well. So that's what they look like back to back, so to speak. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the full ones of what they look like once they're completed. So we're going to move that out of the way. Now that is the embossed side. That is the debossed side. Now we're going to use one of these for a card and at the moment I'm favouring that one and what we're going to do we're going to because we're using that one I'm going to pop that one to one side I'm going to pop it out the way and I'm going to bring in a piece of cardstock this is ordinary shop brought 5x7 cardstock and as we're using this one I am going to grab hold of my giant glue stick down here, my favourite giant glue stick, and because this is this is just printer paper by the way, which I should have mentioned before, for which I apologise for not doing, and this is just ordinary printer paper or copier paper, and all we're going to do, because, actually we won't do it on there, we'll do it, if I move this over here, let's pop that over there, that's the beauty of doing these videos, you can make it up as you go along, if I'd have planned it better I would have known what I was going to do, but never mind, a true crafter never really knows what they're doing. So we're going to just smear that over there like that and take that, make sure we've got it the right way around of course otherwise I'd look very silly or sillier than I usually do. 
and we're going to lay that on there and because it's glue we've got time to just slide it into place and just press it down like that and already we've got the start of a fabulous little card. Now we're going to carry on and take that one step further. What I've done is I've cut out the butterfly that we did earlier and I'm going to put a pattern into it but I'm going to use this pattern because that's the pattern I used in my card. And so what we're going to do, again, we're just going to lay it over anywhere we'll do. And I'm going to take a slightly darker colour this time, slightly darker shade of red. And again, we're just going to go over it, just like that. And that will put the pattern into our butterfly and make it more decorative. So we'll carry on doing that right across, even through the middle. We're going to give it a sternum or a body in a minute. We will change the body line and make it a slightly darker colour so that you can see the difference. And we're going to carry on doing that. If it slips a bit, don't worry about it because all we're doing is putting a pattern. We're not looking for your accuracy here. So all we're doing is putting a pattern into it like that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to slide that out away because we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to use the same dark pencil here. And we're just going to make the body, the body line, a bit darker as it would be. There we go and we've already got the little stamens in on here, up here and what we're going to do, I'll show you what we're going to do, we're going to curl it, just use your fingers, don't do it too rough because it is only paper, it's only a thin paper and you'll, it'll tear and just in case it has, I do tear it, I've got another one over there but hopefully I won't and all you're going to do is curl the wings a little bit and there we go. And what we're going to do now, over here, I have got some tacky glue. And what we're going to do, we're going to place some tacky glue along the line of that body, just like that. And because it's only thin paper, this isn't going to take very long. I'm not going to put it there because it'll fall. And I'm going to put my finger on there, line it up, and stick it down, match it up, and line it up. Hold it down for a second or two and we have a butterfly just lift up the wings a little bit to give him some flight and there we have a butterfly but we're not finished yet not quite anyway what, what I did I did another one I colored another one up and I cut three separate pieces out like that and I made my rows so all I've done is I've cut them out the same rows actually on different areas and I've just cut them in different shapes. And what I'm going to do now, I'll leave that one there, but I'll show you how we make it up. What we do is we take each piece and we just crease it a little bit. Don't scrunch it up, don't screw it up. Just crease it just a little bit like that, just to put some kinks around the edge. And we're going to very quickly do that with all three pieces. The smaller ones are easier, obviously. And then what we're going to do, like that, just like that. And what we're going to do, we're going to find our ball tool, which is around somewhere. There it is. That's the other thing I should have got out before we started, but we're there. We're okay. And what we're going to do next is, right in the middle of that large one, I am going to put a, just a blob of glue. Trouble with glue, it's sticky. And put that down. Take the middle one. My other half's laughing at me over there. And I'm going to use my ball tool just to position that so we can hold it. Again, it's only thin paper so it won't take long to set and what we do is just hold it still or in the middle anyway and just push around the outside like that just to give it a bit more depth and we're going to do that one more time whoops that's the trouble when you do that it all shoots across the room but never mind we'll get there one more bit like that right that's the glue bit done let's pop that over there so it doesn't fall away it might still do that but still never mind and slide that in the middle like that, actually we haven't quite finished with it because we need it to put it on our card. Again, hold it in the middle and just use your fingers to shape it the way you want. And there you are, you've got two lovely little roses. And for the final touch, we need to put these flowers on our card. So I, you can either put them over the roses or you can add extra roses by putting them somewhere where there isn't a rose. So for example, you could put one there. We don't need a ball tool to do this, we can do it with our fingers. So we can put one there, and, oh I don't know, how about one down there? And one there. 
Right, we really are finished with it this time. And this time I will use a ball tool, just for a difference. And if you wanted to go ahead and make it even more glitzy and put a bit of bling in the middle, you can. I think I'm going to leave it like that. And there we have a wonderful little card. Wasn't that simple? And it was good fun to do. So I do hope you have a go at using your embossing folders in different ways. Use them for rubbing. See what else you can do with them. And I wish you a very happy new year. And I do think we have to say a big thank you to YouTube for giving us this opportunity to use this wonderful platform. Especially at this time of year, we all need to be inspired and entertained. So thank you, YouTube, for giving us this wonderful platform. And Google, of course, for running YouTube. So have a very happy new year, all of you. And I'll see you very soon with another project. Bye-bye for now.